Yo, what's going on guys? Ben Dixon here. Hope you guys are doing great today. Today we're going over the Vell Model 1886 Sniper Rifle. Uh, specifically the infantry variant of this gun, not the Sniper Edition. Uh, because I play the aggressive sniper role, so I want to go over this gun with you guys some. Go over some details and just how great this gun is. So let's talk about it some more. Let's dig right into it guys. So this is the gun obviously. To, um, you have to unlock this gun now in the DLC. And to unlock the gun, you have to do uh, 20 flare spot assist, which is super easy, man. And then 50 kills with the giver.95. I might have mispronounced that entirely. But that's how you unlock this variant um, for the gun. Now, the rate of fire on this gun is a bit slower. Well, it's a little bit fast, 56 rate of, uh, RPM. But what I meant to say was the muzzle velocity is 720 meters per second. It's a bit slower sniper rifle than other guns out there. Um, you can actually see it when you're shooting down, down the sights. You can see how much slower the bullets actually travel. So with that being said, you have to really look where you're shooting the rounds at in front of the person when they're running. Um, and kind of predict your rounds going a lot slower than they usually would. Now, the ammo capacity with the sniper rifle is 8 rounds. The only really downside I found of this gun is the freaking ridiculously slow reload speed. Um, it takes about 8 seconds for a full blown reload from the gun. That's when you're entirely out of ammo. 8 seconds is a long time, especially if you're in a firefight with another sniper. Now, if you need to reload like 1 or 2 rounds, it's about, I don't know, like 4 seconds, 4.5 seconds for just one round, uh, a couple rounds here and there. So just really think about it. I mean, 8 seconds for a full reload is probably one of the slowest snipers, if I'm not mistaken, in the game so far that I've seen. Um, it's got a slot of quicker, I mean, a little bit quicker rate of fire on it. Um, but kind of counteracts that because the reload speed is a little bit slower. Now, the bullets to kill is typically one to two rounds, which is obvious for basically most sniper rifles. Uh, the minimum damage on this gun is 80 damage up to 30 meters. So, the closer they are, you're gonna be able to shoot them once and then probably top them off with a couple, um, a couple pistol shots in them. But the sweet spot for this gun, I've came across a couple times. You can actually one shot somebody with this gun quite a bit. I've done it a couple times. It's usually in the range of about 50 meters to 87 meters is a one shot kill if you hit that hit that sweet sweet spot. And I found the sweet spot usually to be like in the neck down to the torso. Um, you can get a one shot kill, which is pretty nice. I usually get one every 20 kills or so, depending on how accurate I am and how how great the uh, the bullet hits me perfectly. So there is a sweet spot with this gun. I've actually seen the sweet spot more with this gun than the Martini Henry, but I kind of quit using the Henry after the previous patch like a while ago when they when they nerfed it significantly. So this gun does uh, pack a punch. Not much recoil with it. Um, I personally have used the Giver, G Giver, I'm going to pronounce that, Giver 98. That gun is my my go-to infantry sniper rifle variant. But the problem with that gun is it only holds five rounds. So you look at the pros and cons of this gun versus that gun. This gun has three more rounds, but it has a slower reload speed, and the Gura 98 has a faster reload speed. So um, I actually really do enjoy this gun. I've used it a couple rounds, and I've really got the feel of it. Got that sweet spot down. I got the hang of it entirely. And when you get that down with the anti sniper rifle, you're pretty much unstoppable, man. But this gun is great. I really encourage you guys to use it. I know it's hard to switch snipers when you're you're stuck with like the Russian uh, or the SMLE, which is a great gun. Don't get me wrong. But when you're stuck with that gun for so long, it's hard to switch over. But this gun in a nutshell is really well. I like the infantry variant a lot. Just the big downside is a, sl is a slower, more slower reload speed. But if you can play it smart and stay back a little bit, you should be alright. But that's about it for this gun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about this gun in the comments below. If you like it or not, or if you think it's complete trash, just let me know what you guys think. So thanks for watching.